When we were talking about the atoms, one of the trouble that people have with the atoms is that they're so tiny and it's so hard to imagine the scale that uh, the size of the atoms are in size compared to an apple is the same scale as an apple is to the size of the earth. And that's a kind of a hard thing to take. And you have to go through all these things all the time. And people find these numbers inconceivable. And I do too. And the only thing you do is you just change your scale. I mean, you're just thinking of small balls, but you don't try to think of exactly how small they are too often, <laughs> or you get kind of a bit nutty, all right? But in astronomy, you have the same thing in reverse, because the distances to these stars are so enormous. You, see. you know that light goes so fast that it only takes a few seconds to go to the moon and back, or it goes around the Earth seven and a half times in a second. And it goes for a year, two years, three years before it gets to the nearest other star that there is to us. But all our stars are in the stars that are nearby in a great galaxy, a, a big mass of stars, which is called a galaxy, a group. But this ga our galaxy is, what is it, something 100,000 light years.